how to change a LAMP module on an LuxTech MLX uh, 300 series, Integer, whatever name they're going by these days. So first thing, you got two screws here in the back. Uh, I've already stepped I'm a few steps ahead of the side. We're unplugged, no power, doesn't really matter. But so I took these two screws out. Now, side note, what you should know is this screw actually hits a limit switch in here. So you cannot power the unit up with this screw missing. Unless you take this cover off and you put something else in to hit it. But without that micro switch, there's no power coming from this power entry module into the unit. All right, next up, there's a screw right here. Pull that off, this cover comes, and there's your LAM module. This pulls right up and out. There we go. That's six. So these two pins, go into those two right there, socket. Lining it up is always fun. Now you can replace this whole module, which will probably cost you, I don't know, I think it was like three grand or some insane price. You know, make your life easy. So we can replace the actual lamp that goes in the box. It's a little bit of work, a little bit messy. But here it is. I think these things are like 300 bucks, so a tenth of what that would cost. But here it is. Thermal heat stuff. Here's your actual lamp. This will be replaced. These things are good for, I think it was a thousand hours? Maybe 10,000 hours? No, it's a thousand working hours it's good for. So now what we're going to do, look at all this thing here. Unscrew these. This whole thing will slide out. And then you've got three screws. Now, there's a clamp on each one of these. Pull those off and you've got access to it. Now, this is about an inch-ish. Uh, three quarters of an inch long. So regular bits aren't going to work. They're not deep enough. Um, you get your socket set. I left the other room. I'm just not going to go get it right now. For now, just a pair of linemen's on here will do it. I mean, these aren't tight. They're just snug. So, just enough to crack it, and you can take it off by hand. Boom. Boom. Just try not to crush this part, because the width of this, this little bowl here is how it holds in place and make good contact. And you should know by now, if you don't have good contact in it with arcing, arcing is heat. Heat damages electronics. So, anyway. There we go. There's this. Sometimes you find a clamp. Sometimes it's just hex head screw. In this situation, we will be using the drill because I can reach this and everything. Okay. You have to fully take them out and you just loosen them, but whatever. So this is a 9 uh, hex bit. So, boom. Nice and easy. Now you might want to glove up. The thermal paste is messy and it is a pain in the ass to get off. You just bring your soap and most, you know, hospitals, surgical centers, soaps that you have everywhere are garbage. Oh, it's not like the bar soap you'd have at home or um, goo, gojo quality stuff. Anyway, so glove up or just use tools. Now, this one is kind of stuck. You know, taking the screw out. So the easiest way to do this is to put a flat head right here to help separate it. And then you should be able to pull it out. Sorry, I needed to answer this. So anyway, I put it in, twisted this a little bit, was able to get it out. Here's your old bad one. Now, the next thing you have to do is clean off inside because the old thermal paste will cause more heat to be conducted instead of escaping. These are heat sinks, in case you didn't know. Now, advantage of working in these places is you've got lots of alcohol wipes or city wipes. You just clean this all out. And now you want to evenly spread the thermal paste on here. Just don't get it in the lens. This is the part number of the bulb in case you need it. PE 300 BFA. All right, so I'm just going to wipe it off. All right, now we got a good coating. Could be better, but whatever. Okay, big guy goes in the back. Yes, it makes a difference. All right, now we're together. Put the screws back in. Slide it all back together. There you go, nice and tight. Old bulbs in the box, by the way, because we're wondering. Back in we go. And remember, it makes a difference which bit goes in, or you're not going to line up with all the holes. Okay? So, yeah, that part's important. There we go. Holes are lined up, so I'm incorrectly. Feel free to take pictures when you're doing this job so you remember how the things go back together. Okay? And these are going to be crazy tight, just hand tights more than enough. Okay? There you go. 
Ah, door. Anyway, as I was saying, ah, make the difference. So holes have to line up so that these go in the right spot. So there you go. Now I pop it back in. Here's the front. Feel free to write a date on here if you want, so you have an idea how long this lasted. It doesn't really matter. You can just replace it. You know, replacement period is based on operating hours, not date. It's not a canola chain. It's not a every 3,000 miles or three months nonsense. It's all based on operating hours. What you get from the front when you turn it on. There we go. All back together. Now, you know, general rule is not button things up until you've tested it. But because of that screw has to be in that space, it makes more sense to button up. It's only a few screws. Found an outlet, plugged in, power up this bad boy. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 There's our operating hours. You see we're almost at 1,000, so we prevent it of maintenance. We replace it before it fails because you don't want to be in a case and have your uh, headlamp go out suddenly. That would suck. So here we are. Do a little reset here. Okay, so the reset procedure here. Pull up your clock. And on the back, there's a hole for reset. Look, it says reset. Let's push something in there. Whatever fits in there. All right, please don't be one of these knuckleheads that does something like replace the lamp and doesn't bother to reset the counter. Ugh. Nobody wants to have to be the one going back on this repeat call for something so stupid. And for your third party, guess what? You're not going to pay for that one. You're just getting in trouble. So, let's see who's going to punch. Push the switch to your click. Find the switch. <laughs> Where is it? Here it is. Can you... See that right there? Let's see if that works. Oh, I didn't push it enough. There we go. Our clock is reset. See our zeros? Cool. 